Hi Capricorn, Siberia from Cats and Cards. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign in the North. Capricorn, please check the description box if you would like a personal from me. Let's get started. So we have bankrupt energy out here. So you're over the worst part of a situation right now. This doing drugs, this could have been... Um, did you overspend on something over the last few days? Or was there some type of natural disaster? Somebody could have had to pay for medication or you are getting answers about some type of long-term stay. There could be a feminine that's obsessive over you right now. It could be an Aquarius Capricorn. I feel like you're trying to get out of, a, um, out of an energy where it's just bad rep, bad choices with money, um, over exerting yourself for others. I feel this is a time of awakening for you, for sure. There's something about you spending time with someone, and you're very private about it, Capricorn. You keep your relationship private, um, very private. The letter F and H are here. Those, um, those letters could be significant in somebody's name. But I do feel like you have this understanding of universe and life and things more so than anybody else. Somebody could live in Arizona. You could live in the desert areas. Um, all of you don't have to live there. Main male shows up. Look at this half truth. This feminine, there's somebody wanting to come towards you. This looks like a sneaky link for some of you. For others of you, it looks like you're keeping your relationship very private. Main male shows up here, very masculine energy. I'm getting um, one hour, one to six hours. Yeah, there's somebody traveling towards you. This could be a hotel room or a trip or obsessive energy, okay, Capricorn? Um, the number 10 is here. Somebody's birthday could be the 10th through the 13th. Somebody could be 31 to 35 years old. You're on the right path to, to, your, to your success. There's some type of windfall of income coming in for you the rest of this month. Butterflies could be significant for you, Capricorn. I keep hearing Aquarius. You could be seeing sevens. You could be seeing ones. What's coming in for this private relationship for Capricorn? Somebody's going through um, a huge judgment situation. They're coming in to tell you that they're sorry, that you're a badass. This could be somebody that you were married to, that you were with. It could be a Libra. Somebody couldn't decide here. Or they were delusional or they were going through some type of mental issue. A feminine has a lot of things going on and she's making a choice to come towards you. The Gemini, the lover's card, um, this energy could last up until Wednesday. It's also a very significant decision between two people. Give me um, a couple of energies here, or situationships. You're very guarded or protected. The Seven of Wands is here. It's like you guys have trouble communicating. Um, what else? This person is um, going to be texting you in the next two to six hours. Give me more for the person in the flex. Because mine, our candle went out. See, it's like they're trying to put you... Did somebody get put out? The Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to think of long-term, or they could be just coming towards you for sex, but they want something long-term here. Scorpio, this person could be a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a, a Taurus, a Leo. You could have known this person seven to 10 years. What does this person want from the collective? Happiness, um, they wanna be in charge, they wanna be friendly with you. Um, they've been having dreams or being emotional, or they have been emotional about you. Um, lioness energy. This could be a feminine that just wants to have some fun. Give me more here. Um, what does Capricorn need to know about their money? I'm going to get into um, those looking for new love. Leaving things and people out in the cold, having patience. This looks like alchemy. So alchemy is working more hours to me. Alchemy is um, being creative when you're in a sit down period. But I do see something happening now with the moon card. You could be dealing with a cancer. Give me more for Capricorn's money. The, em the Empress in reverse. Are you giving a feminine or a mother figure some type of money that's going through? Somebody's trying to come out of a... It's like they go through cycles of depression or something. 
Um, a feminine could be kind of trying to stand in her power and counter is here. So there's some type of blessing or surprise meeting here. Give me a, an unexpected encounter will slowly alter the course of your life. Keep an open mind, Capricorn. One last move. You have come far in your journey. Keep going and you will soon see what you have accomplished. Last step. You're almost there. Yeah. Wonderful energy. Look at that Rubik's Cube. And this is in relation to your money as well. Give me evolution of the soul deck. I keep hearing Aquarius. That gives me Wednesday and Thursday energy or dreaming. Life balance. Um, so you're balancing out all elements in your life. Uh, I see you've been spending a lot of time alone. Shift. This is energetic shifts, perspective shifts, the way your mind works. These are new downloads. Awesome energy. I'm seeing a lot of pink in your spread as well. This gives me the dance of life, synchronicities, achieving it, and perfect timing. So this is what's coming in over your next four to ten days, Capricorn. Give me those looking for new love. There's something coming in here. There's something manifesting for those looking for new love. Let's see. I feel like you're just going to allow it to come. There could be a few people out here um, buying for your attention. I don't feel like you feel you should have to go out there and fight for somebody's love, Capricorn. You just want it to come to you. Give me more here. There could be a lighter skinned feminine. Um, getting ready to prep, preparing to come towards you. Yeah, somebody really wants to have sex with you. They ain't finding fulfillment anywhere else. I feel like you really want to find somebody that vibes on your level. It, meaning you do want something long term. Aries, um, Capricorn energy, S Scorpio, and Sagittarius energy are here. What's coming in for new love for Capricorn, please, Spirit? What should they know? What's brewing for new love? See, somebody wants you to be caught up sexually with them, Capricorn. I'm really intuitively feeling that. You may like the sex with somebody else as well. Um, after a betrayal, I feel like you're going the other way. Um, you've gained some type of experience with this person. You are still in your feels. You're trying to disconnect from that in order to move forward. Snake energy is also here. So that's healing energy. Um, manifesting in a healed energy is always going to bring you your best manifestation. But I do see love manifesting for you in Sagittarius season. How is um, how's Capricorn manifesting love at this time? There is a feminine here that is watching you under fake accounts. You may be trying dating sites. I feel like the more you put it in the universe that you don't want no fake shit, the more it's trying to manifest. You need to clear out your energy of whoever this is. They're in a distorted feminine energy. And I feel like they do send spiritual attacks your way so you can't move forward in the universe. Um, what should, yeah, see my cat's giving you a warning. What should Capricorn expect? You're unlocking the best and highest value of yourself right now, especially if you're 38 to 43 years old. Somebody's birthday could be on the 15th. Um, the 17th could be significant Mercury. You could be dealing with a Gemini. So there's something about like um, awareness and confusion. Um, you've been enlightened on a few things. I feel like you've sat and thought about it and you're trying not to be emotional. Something is manifesting. Um, during, look, the full moon and the super moon are here. This is very emotional energy and I feel like you just don't want to deal with it. Staying... Um, fixed on an energy staying fixated on something is what causes this chaos and confusion and blocks and chops you just remember throughout your enlightenment because it looks like you're very high honor when it comes to universe capricorn throughout your enlightenment things are sent your way because you're a healer because you have the keys to the universe there's two keys that are significant here there's a masculine with a key and he's looking through it like he can see through what he's about to receive or he can see this masculine masculine you have the key and you see it's like the third eye key it can open every door to truth and it's like this feminine also has a key give me this key energy what is this it just looks like something like yeah it's reflecting it's talking it's this feminine may want to apologize Somebody really wants to have sex with you, masculine. 
What does feminine need to know? What does feminine Capricorn need to know? This all wants to go in the fire. Rest and recovery is significant. Um, seeds that you planted, um, they are growing even if you don't feel as though they are. Inguaz is here. That's a rune. Somebody could have um, some type of rash. I do feel like you are in a bitchy type of energy, Capricorn Feminine. It's because your independence, like you're, you are, it kind of looks like you're in a scarce mindset. Like you're wondering how to get more. You're feeling kind of bitchy. Um, this could be your cycle. The Six of Pentacles is here at the end of this spread. Remember to practice kindness, not overgiving at this time. Somebody does want to give to you, Feminine. Um, I feel like right now, you are you are not trying to manifest. There's so many keys here. It's like you have the key, the way out of something. There could be a masculine manifesting you or you're upset over heartbreak right now. The lover's card is in reverse. So Capricorn Feminine, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is very emotional energy. It's like you laid down and didn't do anything else. What is the advice for feminine Capricorn? Treating yourself right. This is a rest period for you. I feel like putting this karmic energy behind you is important. Um, seven, the, the number seven, ten, and three could be significant. Uh, this also gives me pregnant energy, grouchy energy. Somebody could be pregnant and bitchy and it's like you don't really feel like you want to be pregnant right now you could have walked away from a heartbreaking situation feminine the eight of cups or the nine of swords the eight of cups this is a lot of overthinking this is a lot of emotional pain coming out of this emotional pain is going to be extremely important for you right now because it's the full moon and the super moon. Give me a couple more messages for Capricorn. Rich man energy is here. So the 25th is significant. The 13th through the 25th is significant. 12, 12 on the clock as I say that. This is new energy coming towards you. Are you hoping for better, your future? The 25th is high honors. I feel like this is a promotion. Yeah, or this could be you receiving some type of lump sum of money. The good Lord is in reverse. There could be somebody that drinks all the time. Um, there's a lot of miscommunications here. Main female, I just feel like you're kind of in your feelings right now. Heart chakra would be important to open up. Forgiveness and boundaries are important at this time. This mirroring energy, it's universe showing you things that you need to heal from quickly so you can continue on your path of ascension. Please like, subscribe. Thanks, Capricorn.